I think you also worried when you install the Unreal in 5.7 and you see there's a no platform support system. Like how you can export the game right now? It's so easy. They just shift the position. Now from here you have to press here the platform, and from here you have to press project launcher. Once you come at the project launcher, you have to create a launcher profile. You can give it name anything like Android. In my case, let me give it Android Build. And then press enter. You don't have to give the description. You can skip this part. At here you find the right mouse. Press at here the edit button. From here you have to do configuration. The project is in a CADN, which is you can choose your current project. The target is basically the, uh, the project default. And the platform now from here you can choose all of the platform that you like to export. In my case, I can choose it to ASTC. After that, in configuration, you can choose it to development. If you like to export in a debug or shipping, you can choose from here. In my case, I'm going to give development. After that, in a content scheme, you have to, by default, it's in a Zane's streaming. You can change it to, to development package. I always recommend to go with the development package or pack file because those are most great option. After that, once you're done here, you have don't have to do anything with this. In the increment cooking system, you have to choose the modifi modified as dependency that recommended. Choose it that. In a maps and cooks, it's so important. Make sure you choose that selected map only. And from here, just expl split your file. Choose this thing, the map folder. It automatically take the all of the map data. Okay. Then scroll down. At here, you find the build the game. You don't you don't have to do anything with this thing. Keep it like same. After that, you find archive build. This option is so important. So you have to press that archive build yes, order it through. And here you find the three dots. Now you have to choose a directory like you have to you want to export the file. Then so my case is in a music. Click on select the folder. And once you're done, you are ready to rock and roll. After that, here you can see there is an initialize or initiator the map. So just click on that. Choose the maps that the map you created, like the map name that in the first time this. Whenever the game will be open, this map will be first open. So make sure that you give that here. In an extra common line, you don't have to give anything. There's a loss of extension like automation bot and pre-tester. So you don't have to do anything with that. Now you have to simply click on launch and you'll be see something like this panel. It will be just take a like a 10 to 15 seconds in my PC. Others all depends on your PC config, your network is free, your hard drive, your project location, your engine version. Lots of things will be varies. So if you have the best PC config and best internet connection, like I have a 200 Mbps internet with a Ryzen 9950X with lots of gigabytes, 64 gigabytes of RAM. So it's enough and I keep my engine and both project in NVMe server, uh, in NVMe uh, storage. So this is super fast. So in my case, it's all uh, take up to three to five seconds in maximum uh, time. You can see it's already done the packaging stuff. Now it's downloading the files from the server and here the file has been done, the build is success. Now you can press done and after that you can go to the file explorer and you find the your APK and everything. So that's all, see you in the next tutorial video, bye bye.